So it's pretty crazy how long it's taken me to realize this, but I'm gonna give you a quick hack or tip how to just be more productive in general. So typically when you get a new computer, a new laptop, like I review hundreds a year, and maybe my guilty tech uh, sin has been just using the stock browser on every computer, whether it's Mac, whether it's Windows. Maybe it's something that I've always taken for granted, but the amount of time that you actually spend on a browser, whether you're watching this video right now on YouTube, whether you are uh, trolling through forums of Reddit, whatever you happen to do, you can make your life more efficient. So I actually just went to uh, Opera Browser Days. It was out in Portugal. I've learned a bit more about the brand and now I have it as my main browser, both on my Mac and uh, my A14, which I mentioned, this is what I used to play MapleStory with. If you wanna watch that separate video, I will leave it linked up above but let me kind of walk through some key benefits of this. So quickly, obviously, when you launch it, you are on your main screen. The first thing that you kind of notice here, this has got a very like calm Mac-esque look to it. It's got the gradient. You can actually change the theme quickly through a shortcut. You can see some of the different options that you have here. And even say during the day, you can have one set for like day mode and at night when things are a bit darker, you can switch it to say Aurora. It's a bit moodier, it's a bit darker and you can also set the color theme to kind of match your mood. So typically um, if I want mine to be a bit more on the orange side and it's weird in the 30 years that I've used browsers in the time that literally I've been alive. I haven't seen anything uh, look like this before. I know that you can set uh, you know, color themes and other things, but having live wallpaper is something that actually is up to date with, um, yeah, we're living in 2025. So that's kind of option one. So option two is just how clean and clutter free everything is. So when you launch your browser, you're obviously brought to like the main screen here. And from here, you can access pretty much anything within a short little click. You don't need any extra add-ons. For example, your favorites, that isn't anything new. You can launch your favorite sites. Um, I've even got my eBay account. May have just ordered some new Pokemon singles, but uh, that's for something else. We've got this sidebar on the left-hand side, which connects to some of my favorite social media stuff. We'll talk about that in the second. And this easy setup bar on the right-hand side, which you can change a lot of the setting. So everything, like I said, super clean, very minimal, but everything is kind of at clicking distance. So for example, tabs, we all have hundreds if you're in those thousands. <laughs> This is definitely something that you need to check out. There's this cool thing called Tab Island where you can group certain tabs together into what they call an island. So for example, one of my next trips, I'm heading to uh, Japan for a personal trip, going to a Super Nintendo World. I have all four tabs here. I've got one for hotels, I've got one for trip.com, some recommendations in Akihabara. Once again, might be hunting Pokemon slabs and uh, just a little Reddit thread on recommendations. I've got them all grouped together in a Tab Island so I can just actually click that island and they all collapse into one so it doesn't take up the majority of my browser. And from there, I can still move that anywhere I want on my top bar and then I can re-collapse it or open it whenever I need to. So if you are someone that has, you know, 30, 40 tabs for Reddit. If you're doing research, if you've got different Wikipedia pages open, whatever you happen to have, you know, five, six, 20, 30 tabs for a particular like subject, you can group those together in Tab Island and still keep things organized and not have everything super, super cluttered. So once again, in the years that I've been using it, wish I had that before, this just makes your life a bit easier and just way more simple. And what's nice is if you open up a separate page within that Reddit thread of a new Tokyo recommendation that you see, it still appears or pops up within that island and it's still all grouped together. It's not something that you have to add in after the fact. So it's smart enough to realize that. And then once again, if you just want to click that, those all minimize again. So the next cool thing is called split screen, very self-explanatory. You can have uh, two separate screens running obviously two different things. And you can see that with the little split annotation right at the top here that both of them are combined. So say on one, I've got YouTube, I can say watch my latest like house update. The other, I can browse and buy things off of Amazon and it's pretty easy to do. So for example, I'm buying a couple clothes. I can just bring that into uh, this separate page here. And once again, it creates that separate split screen. So once again, I can browse and still say like watch content on the other. So the next thing, once again, have just always taken this for granted. I've actually never done this uh, in all my life, which is strange. So right now I'm on the verge, just browsing some uh, technology stuff. This has a built-in ad blocker. You you can see this little shield icon. If you just click on that, you can both select block ads and block trackers, and you can see how much cleaner 
the website has become. Now that there's no ads, it's really accessible. It's literally just available in one click. It saves you data, it loads the website a lot quicker, and like I said, the main thing, it just looks a lot cleaner without that uh, really hideous like Gmail or whatever that was uh, bar at the top. It also has a built-in VPN. Once again, something that you typically have to install as an extra add-on, so you can actually see the button right up top there. You can just hit on. You're now protected. You can actually choose the region. So right now it's set for optimal, but you can uh, change it, especially for when I'm traveling. Really nice feature to have. So the next thing, obviously including some sort of AI, they have something called Aria, which is offers built-in AI. It can do a bunch of different things. For example, you can use it within any web page. You don't need to open up a separate tab. So it has a shortcut, which is command slash. So now you can ask it just say a general question. For example, a really standard one that I've used is to create an itinerary for my two weeks in Japan. Even though I've been there before, it's just great to see some good recommendations, a bit of like a refresher. So you can see right here uh, on day one to five, hit up Tokyo, day six to eight, I'm going to Kyoto and day nine to 10 to Osaka. Just great little prompts. And then from there, I can pull that info, look up if it's actually true, look up on Reddit. Is it worth going to the Tajuki outer market. I've seen on Reddit that a lot of people say it's a tourist trap. It's not worth going to. So those are once again, just things that you have to kind of take, but it builds you a very general thing and you can fine tune that as you see fit. And if I want, I can continue that in the chat so I can actually bring this back to that separate chat bar that I had open. And then I can ask it a bit more questions if I want. So once again, everything was just at a command of a quick shortcut. I didn't have to go out of anywhere. Or if you want to summarize the page quickly, you can just hit tab and now it says page context. So you can just hit summarize and it will give you a quick summary of the entire web page. So the next AI feature, I feel like every smartphone also has this is an image gen creator. So, so I got my trusty sidekick uh, performing his camera duties. So creating a golden doodle in a fire truck as Link eats his treat. Is that a yummy one? Yeah. Oh, is that yummy? Okay, let's get one more. Link, does that look like you right there? Is that a golden doodle? I think you're cuter. Maybe if you're in the back of a fire truck. Okay, good boy. <coughs> so the last thing about the sidebar, you can have a social media integration. So um, if you want to get unproductive, even though this video is about being productive, you can quickly say like, watch, uh, you know, scroll the doom rolls of TikTok. Like the internet can be so great sometimes and just... The last option is uh, player. So you can actually have this link to say Spotify, YouTube music, whatever uh, you happen to use. The coolest feature, which I think, so obviously it plays music. You can actually see this uh, quick little uh, window here that it launches. Got some Rufus playing and then choose to watch some of my content, say my condo tour. This is actually now paused Rufus, which was playing in the background. And then when I want to switch back, it stops what's happening in the YouTube video, and then I can go back listening to my music so you don't have the competing audio files against each other. And the last big thing, which is arguably the most important, but uh, often gets looked over is the privacy and obviously the security of it. So all data is of course encrypted. None of your personal info, say like your login details are being sent to Opera. This is completely free to download. Like you don't actually have to pay for it. Like I said, this is something that I've typically taken for granted, stop using your stock web browser. It's uh, yeah, my guilty sin. The fact that Opera has close to 300 million monthly users means people are downloading it on their own. Once again, completely free, testing it out and obviously loving it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little trick on how to stay productive. Let me know what you are browsing for. Hopefully you enjoyed my vlog of Opera Browser Day. I will leave that once again linked up this way. And um, yeah, I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids and do not be that person that has 1000 tabs open. Peace.